What up fam, welcome back to the channel. What we are working on today is something I've never once done in my life before and that is body work and paint work and all that good stuff. So right here is my FQ400 hood for the Evo 10. As you guys know, we had an unfortunate event where this thing flew up and thankfully it didn't hit the windshield or the, the roof. It just kind of did some damage to the hood and I figured this is a perfect opportunity to learn how to do body work and paint work by myself. I've had a different painter, multiple different painters do it throughout the years and to be completely honest, I've never really been all that happy with anybody's work. That is why I'm constantly switching painters and whatnot so i figured this is a perfect time to do it by myself this hood is going to be wrapped eventually or within the next few days as soon as it's painted it'll be wrapped so i figured I might as well just try it myself see what we can do and obviously it's not going to be perfect the first time around i'm gonna learn from my mistakes and hopefully within a year i'll be good enough to do like a full respray on a car if i need to as you saw by the opening clip we kind of already went around i grabbed some 400 grit sandpaper and sanded out a lot of the damaged areas chipping paint right up through here so i sanded all that out and then i just went through with the block and wet sanded the entire hood with 600 grit let's go through and look at all the damage we have to fix so we have this guy right here i don't know if that needs to be actually filled with fiberglass if i can just fill that with body filler it's not that deep so i'm sure i could just fill that with body filler so we have that everything else is all smoothed out we're good to go there the main thing we need to fix are the edges where the hood is separating i ended up going to a local paint shop I bought a bunch of paint and other supplies. I showed them photos of the hood where it was separating and they recommended that I use this stuff here. It is made by SEM. It is called Minimax General Purpose Adhesive. What they recommended doing is just grinding out with like a Dremel this area here, squirting that adhesion stuff down in there, clamping the hood together and then letting it dry for about an hour or two, going over it, wet sanding it and should be good to go. There's also a few other areas that were supposed to be fixed last time this hood was painted and they weren't. So it's kind of cracking throughout here, a little bit on that edge right there. And then I noticed some down here as well so i'm gonna do my best to get this hood 100 perfect also there's some stuff on the bottom side that i want to get fixed up as well so let's just keep going through fixing little areas and then when i get to more technical areas like that and the edges i'll kind of show you guys what i'm going to try i don't know if it's going to work but that's what i'm all about is trial and error if it doesn't work i'll redo it i don't really care i have all the time in the world to get this thing done All right, as you can see, we got it all cleaned out. I used the Dremel and a cutoff wheel just to get a bigger area for everything to adhere to. I don't know if that was what you're supposed to do. It made sense in my mind. Let's mix some of this stuff up, slop it on there, see what we can do with it. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. I have a screwdriver in here to kind of separate the hood a little bit so we can really get that filler down in there. I'm gonna throw on a set of gloves, squirt some of this out onto the cardboard, mix it up with a putty knife and dip some down in the hood. As soon as we get the whole crack filled up, I'm gonna grab clamps, clamp it down because that's what everybody on YouTube said to do. Clamp it down to Together and in about an hour it should be good to go we can sand it smooth and if we need more filler we can fill it in more or use some bondo to fill it in that's the game plan let's see how it works All right guys, so I think I did that right. We got a bunch way down in there and then I kind of filled up the top and then I got these three clamps on there. It says it takes about an hour to dry. I'm gonna let that set up for about an hour. We can pull the clamps off, get it all sanded out and then move on to the other side. In the meantime, I do have these little cracks down here. I kind of ground out. So I'm gonna work on those while the hood is chilling up like this. Hopefully I don't knock it over, that would suck. So what we're doing with all the other cracks, there were some by the scoop right here. I dremeled everything out like that, got it a pretty deep, I would say about an eighth to a quarter inch. And then I'm going through filling it in. This is all dry, don't worry that I'm touching it. I'm going through filling it in with that panel bond stuff. So I'm guessing that's gonna work. I don't know what else to do there. And then this whole area right here, I know it's on the backside and it probably doesn't really matter, but it matters to me. It was kind of weird looking, kind of wavy looking. So I threw some bondo on there. I'm gonna sand it smooth and then 
After everything's done, being dried, mainly the panel bond stuff, we're gonna go through and get all it sand smooth. If we need to put Bondo in any other area, like this area right there, we definitely need to Bondo. Um, we'll do that and then we can move on to slapping down some primer. So it's been about an hour and I feel like this panel bond stuff is still not completely cured all the way. It's probably because it's not that warm in the shop, maybe like 45, 50 in here right now. Just to be safe, I'm gonna go ahead and let it cure overnight. So I'll come back out here in the morning, bust out this hood. We did finish up this Bondo area right here. So we just got it all nice and smooth. Doesn't really matter all that much. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's on the bottom side of the hood. Made it look a lot better. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Let's finish this thing up. All right, guys, it is now the next morning. I'm 100% confident that everything is dried up and good to go. So I'm just gonna run through right now, get everything sanded down. Any areas that need more filler, I'll just be using some Bondo. And then as soon as we are sure we got all of the little areas filled up and sanded smooth, we're gonna go ahead and prime all the small areas that are just bare fiberglass. All right guys, pretty much all of the prep work on this hood is done, ready for primer. The shop is a complete disaster, so I'm gonna clean it up, get this hood dried, and spray some primer on that thing. So this is the part where I don't really have a clue as to what I'm doing. I've never sprayed out of a spray gun before. It can't be really that hard though because I've powder coated, I've stair coated, I've done everything except actually spray, except for rattle can. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the primer over here. I'm using the Omni MP282. I gotta figure out how much hardener or reducer. I don't know if we need both or just one. So I'm gonna go online and do some research, get it mixed up, get it in the gun. I'm using this crappy old central gun. I think that's what it's called, yeah, central. Um, HVLP gun and I'm gonna start on the back side of the hood because the back side don't really matter We have a lot of areas that are bare so I'm gonna spray all these out and then we can move on I'll let that kind of dry and then flip it over and do the top side as well I'll be cleaning it with some lint free rags and some wax and grease remover Wish me luck guys All right guys, it's about three or four hours later. We've already started going through and wet sanding all of the primer areas. So I got this whole majority of the hood done. Still have to do the center section, a little bit more in there. Whole driver's side and the bottom side as well. And I'm just going through with the block and 600 grit sandpaper. Here's where we have the hood right now. All the primer is standing down. This thing is ready for color. So what we're gonna do is flip the hood over. We're actually gonna be spraying the backside first and then let that cure overnight, bright and early tomorrow morning or tomorrow sometime, we're gonna come out and spray the top side of the hood. So being that I've never painted before, my brother Austin actually has painted quite a few times. So he's on his way over right now. He's gonna help me spray out this hood, the backside tonight, and then he might be helping me tomorrow as well. But he's painted quite a few times and I don't wanna waste all the paint I have. So he's gonna show me how to go about it. Priming stuff is really easy because you're gonna sand it anyway, but with paint, if you can lay it on flat, you don't really need to wet sand it. I'll probably end up wet sanding, actually probably not. So he's gonna show me a few tricks that he's learned along the way.
here's how the bottom side turned out. Turned out really, really freaking nice. A lot better than I had, than I'd ever hoped. The only thing that happened after the second coat, a fly came and landed on the paint. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, right there. But it's on the bottom side, not too worried about it. So we're gonna let this dry. It takes about 16 hours, according to the spec sheet thing, the tech sheet, 16 hours. So tomorrow evening sometime, we're gonna flip this thing over and bust out the top side. All right, we just finished up spraying out this hood. Turned out so freaking amazing. I'm really curious to see if that color is gonna match, but obviously the whole car is wrapped. So we don't, we don't really know if it's gonna match until we unwrap the car, which is gonna be a while. The one thing I'm not so sure on is how long we need to wait until we can actually vinyl wrap this hood. Being that we just sprayed it out, I asked on Instagram and a few of you guys responded. Some people are saying like two to three days until it's fully cured, other people, other people are saying wait a few weeks. To be safe, I'll probably give it like two weeks before we vinyl wrap it. This was definitely a fun project. Certainly out of my comfort zone. I've never done any sort of work on anything like this before. So it was a very fun learning experience. I do owe a huge shout out to my brother Austin for pretty much spraying out the hood for me. Definitely would not have looked this good if I sprayed it out myself. I did spray it out a little bit just to kind of get the hang of painting. In the future, I want to be able to do everything myself though. That'd be super nice. If you guys want to check out my brother Austin's channel, he just started a YouTube channel, so go check it out. I'll have a link down in the description box below. He's a lot smarter than I am. So if you think my content is entertaining, you'll probably love his content too as well. If you have any suggestions on how long to wait before we vinyl wrap this thing, drop a comment down below if you actually actually know. I'm not gonna put it on the car yet. I'm gonna keep it probably either in the shop where it's kind of warm or in the basement of the house where it's pretty warm, probably like 70 degrees. As of right now, I'm thinking like two weeks before we can get it on the car and get it vinyl wrapped. Here it is out in the sun, guys. This thing turned out so, so good. I'm actually really, really proud of myself of the bodywork we did on it. All of the cracks we fixed, you cannot tell they were ever there. As long as they hold up and don't crack again in the future, I'll be super, super stoked. I'm gonna bring it over there and compare it to the color on that Evo 10. See how good of a job we did. It's really hard to say because it's not mounted up on the car, but it looks like it's a little bit like brighter of a white versus the color of the fender. The color before though, as you guys saw when I had on the Evo, it was pretty far off. Like it was a lot more creamy looking versus the wicked white of the Evo 10. So I think that looks a lot better than what it was. And the body work on it is, is freaking phenomenal. I'm so proud of myself. Like all these edges and everything where it's cracked, they look super, super nice. The one thing we do still have to do is build the little latch for it that got lost. So as soon as this thing is cured and dried up, I should probably get it out of the grass, but as soon as it's cured and wrapped, we can build that latch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was spread out over a few days, so it took a little bit to uh, to figure out how to do all this work. Um, yeah, I think it turned out really good. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. I'll see you in the next video.